Do you want to be a better float fisherman and get more strikes? Well, check this out. We're talking about floating monofilament and how that can help you in your float fishing endeavors. The time for big steelhead is here. We have late spring runs just around the corner. So it's time to get ready and geared up. Now, you guys have seen on my channel, as well as many others, of how to set up a float for steelhead. And in fact, it's float fishing in general, very similar. However, it's not talked about too much about floating monofilament. I wanna to talk to you about it because it's made a game changer for me and how many bites I'm seeing on the water, easier men's, and getting more drag-free drifts. Here are two brands that I've been running pretty consistently for the last handful of years. The Blood Run here in the 15 pound test comes in 200 yards. And this has been a really great one for me and uh, really haven't had any need to go away from it. And I just recently found P-Line has their own top water version for bass fishing that you know what is perfect for the same application for float fishing. Both have good knot strength. I haven't had any issues with um, that breaking on the top section of the float setup. So I wanted to show you first what they look like. And now it is just like a standard monofilament. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. Just a straight clear mono. They do come in different colors as well for the blood run. So those guys that truly center pin fish, it was made out for the Midwest um, Great Lakes steelhead. And you can have those run just off a of center pin in itself. But for us in the Pacific Northwest, right, our standard setup is going to be our float rod with our braided line. You know, whatever your favorite preferred float option is, you're going to end up having it run down. When I run, let's see where to, my knot's right here, actually. So, run my knot tied directly in got a pink worm on here at the moment chasing some steelhead but just a standard knot to my top shot i run anywhere between 10 to 12 feet of top shot it really helps for two reasons the float in itself i'll look back over here the float in itself runs really nice on the line allows to work and get to position depth really fast it's easy to mend, as I mentioned before, because the mono is floating. If you use a regular mono, that mono or even fluorocarbon will drag and sink potentially. My fluorocarbon comes off of my inline weight. That's a Dave's Tangle Free if you guys want to check them out. A great setup. But overall, standard float, slip float setup rig, but I have the floating mono. Let's go check out on the water and show you guys exactly what I mean when we're talking about using the floating mono to help you mend your line. So then you ask yourself, okay, well, it's pretty cool. You saw how it works. Yeah, that's great. How can this apply to us as steelhead fishermen? Well, right now, two ways really can be helpful. The first is you guys that bank fish. If you like to float fish, slip float, float set up, whatever it may be, maybe you like to bobber dog. That floating mono, again, will allow your float to slip as fast as it possibly can across the mono, get to your bumper and bobber stop. It'll show you the accurate depth right away. It's not gonna potentially drag and get in the way. Sometimes braid, if you do it just to that, can do it. So I really want to be able to drive that home because for me, that has been the difference maker. I have been able to get better drifts right at the top of the drift versus having to adjust my float a ton of times and get it in the water down river. So I really think for the bank fishermen, it's huge. But you boat guys, it's not left out there too. Everybody, it seems, has gone the direction for float fishing out of a boat. 
when you're running clients, maybe you're just fun fishing, let me tell you, it's going to make a huge difference for you too. That floating mono helps your anglers be able to get better drifts, especially bobber dogging, where you can see the float react better. That floating mono acts like if you would for fly fishing. It's going to help you drag and mend it. And again, we'll see more river footage here. But I have just seen the benefit. And I don't see too many people talking about this. Yes, it's nice to have a good braid you can tie directly to in certain situations. But that top shot, if you have spooky fish, that top shot can be a difference maker. That they're not looking at a bunch of braided line running off of their float. For me, that's what I've changed to. I want to hear what you guys think below because truly your guys' opinion matters a lot in the way things are. Some people do do things different, right? This is my opinion. So it's not the end of the world or the only way to do it. But I think you try this, this season and going forward into the salmon, you're going to find you're going to do way better and have a lot more fun. So let me know what you guys think about that. If you want to see some more, how-to videos or some steelhead footage check these out right here and we'll catch you real soon on the water tight lines and fish on